Okay. Uh, yes, I fucked up the audio, but then I stopped instantly. Double checked everything, quadruple checked it, and everything's good. So if it's not good, then I don't know what to say. Now, interesting day. Like always, how was your day? I hope it was well. Oof. Tired. I want to take a nap, but first I got to eat something. But whilst, whilst I wait for the eating, it's not quite time for me yet. What do we got? No, not yet. So, maybe, no. Did I burn something? Where's my tray? Okay, yeah, so I went to the smoke shop today. I got a new, oh, fuck, I dropped it. I got some new stuff from there, but. If you're into smoking, I posted a long thing, but I have no idea if that company, I have no idea where that company comes from, but it, God, it's amazing. Anyways, I'm not talking about that. Point is, oh, freezing. Okay, see. So, yes, yeah, so I got some things in there that I had this, I couldn't help it. I was like, I want them palms with the, with the little eye in it. I don't know why. I like it. I think it's cute. So, things I think are cute are cute for me. So, so anyways, anyways, right here, I got these cards laid out in a particular order. For a reason, it's, okay, so then, hmm, that's the story time. Uh, so, I'm going back on a past message that I posted. I have no idea when it was. But, I went and found it. It took me a while. It took me forever to figure it out. I'm like, where is it? But it's like, because um, someone asked me a question. And whoever that is, you know who you are. This is the card I can only think of. And it's got white flowers. So maybe that tells you something. It's called the friend card. So anyways. But that question led me to another question of my own that led me to another question of my own that led me to something that I said about something in a past video. And I was like, hmm. You know. The thinking woman clicked in and I was like, I need to go maybe see something in that video. And there's something in that video that needs to be said. So I have no idea. I just played the video and sat around shuffling and playing with my new things. <laughs> I got a little trade. I love this raw stuff. It's so cheap. Not quality wise. It's fantastic quality. Good price. Two different types of cheap in the world, okay? You learn that as you refine yourself so yeah this one I love it's great quality I was not expecting it to be so great I was like is it a magnet I tried but I didn't, I didn't try it on a can of soda so who knows if that works anyways point is it's very durable and so I was I'm surprised I had no idea uh, I don't know but I also bought a little bigger tin case to put my Palo Santo in and it's like yes this is perfect for that I'm buying that fuck that it's only like two bucks Cares. Yeah, this thing was like five bucks, and I was like, why? Everything's so cheap. Why is everyone so chunky? And I was like, okay, well, I brought it home. I realized. But anyways, this mat, ah, it's so cute. I just put it there. I think I'm going to put it off in the corner more, because I don't really want it around. But I kind of wanted it, because it's a dab. It's a dabbing mat, so it's like silicone. It doesn't get hot. And basically, um, I was going to use it for, I don't know, my candle crap, but then I was like, I don't know, whatever. But it needs to be here for now, so until I figure out where it stayed there, but that's what that is, just in case you wonder what the hell is that. <laughs> so anyways, I got some little piece of lint on my nose, so let me take a sip. And this random flash of thoughts happened just when I was randomly sitting here. A bubble pops, you know, bloop, in my head, and I was like, oh, there's a card just like that in my deck. Let me look at that card. And I was like, cool, I figured that out. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. But that's the only answer I could give for that card question. Someone had a card question. So, yeah. Anyways, not important. But it led me down the choo-choo train. Choo-choo thoughts. Instantly, though. Not like a long day of it, like, thinking and pondering. No poo-poo bear. No poo bear today. And it was like, bam. And I was like, ooh. I need to go check out that video. Ooh, and I went straight to the video and I watched it. I'm like, I don't know what the hell I'm looking for, but I'm looking for something. So I put it on the background, start fiddling with my things. I get all the way to the end and for some reason I start paying attention. I'm like randomly paying attention, like like drawn in, like tell me more. Let me 
what's going on right now? And I was like, I remember doing the reading. So it's like, I remember everything I was doing. Hard to explain. But it's like, what new news do you really got for me? And I decided something, wow, I can't remember the reason why. Well, I don't remember the thought that led me to this. But there was a thought that was triggered from watching that part that led me to pull out these cards and replace them and look at them more in depth because I think there was a message that was meant to be said. It might not have been meant to be said then though. So that's why this is later. So this is like, you know, today's message. So whenever you find this in your life, this message is for you. That's all it is. So, but this is specifically like, but in case you didn't want to watch that whole fucking video, <laughs> Ooh, maybe that's what I'll do. Mm-hmm. No, 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 I don't like that idea at all. I liked, I liked the idea, but then, no, not happening. Well, maybe. You never know. But no, I don't think so. Uh, that requires a lot of thought, so maybe later. From the breaks. There's nothing fast. So, I pulled out these cards. I had just listened to the reading, so it was like fresh in my brain, the story that was being told. I want you to be able to see them. Fuck. I know that thing zooms. Is it zoom while it's using? Can I zoom this one? Oh my God, I can zoom. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, we're back in, no, we're not gonna go to the 80s. Are we going to the 80s? No, wait, we're kicking it. No, oh no, let's see. Perhaps if I put more light on, bam. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, God, no, that don't help. That's my little Ikea owl. I bought it for my daughter, but she just put it in her window and didn't do anything with it. Okay, so, oh, I don't have any candles. Let me light a candle, and then I'll get into this. Uh, and I'll also see if I can maybe... Okay, yeah, that works. Let's do that. Move this shit. Ooh, that could be something with the runes. Maybe that's telling me I need to maybe check out rune casting a little bit more. I was talking to someone about talking about room casting at some point. We're running out of room. Okay. Yes, I like owls. I just noticed you can see my little owl in the back there. This fancy little porcelain with gifts. It's not my stuff. I didn't buy it. It was given to me. And I like it. I appreciate it. Okay, so this thing see that's what I'm saying it don't belong there I don't is it gonna yeah the cards are gonna stick to it fudge you should have did the, oh but you do have the card <laughs> things are working right now hold up let me go faster though because I'm going very slow I don't like it let's put this shit there Duh, so sloppy and rubbery. I may or may not like that. That is not that is not necessarily happening right now. It's happening for now though. Whatever. This def that is not staying like that. Where did this deck go? There it is. Ooh, with the chini lamp. Oh, and that's like the bong I bought today. That bong is fucking oh, it's like it was made for me. I just Whoever designed that, I feel like I'm sending them my love. This is like, thank you. It's so beautiful. You know, and why it's so beautiful before I timestamp, because once I timestamp, I got to get going, because that's not fair to the person that just wanted to watch this video. So you can always come back and listen to story time when you got time, but or never, whatever, right? But the message will be said. I have no way to. Oh, hmm. Ideas. Ideas. Maybe I move it. Hold up. Whoops. Okay. Don't mind my person. It's in the back. Oh, there we go. We'll do this just for today. Or just for now. I don't know. Maybe sometimes. Ooh. Does it come out backwards? How is this going to work? Oop. Yeah, it's totes backwards now. Hmm. Okay, I have to put it your way then. I'm sorry, we're, we're, we're figuring this out as I go. So 
So am I zoomed out all the way for at least? Okay, that's all I can ask. The cross dented was to fish. And then it was the tree. Okay. And then it was the lady. And then the snake. Okay, this is it. Scooting back. This isn't working. Whatever you get the idea, maybe. Looking, thinking, think, 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 think. Oh, got ideas. In your little box. I'm gonna put it like this. Hmm. I don't like that. Let's just do something like this, maybe. <laughs> hey, that worked. No. Whatever. We're just going to do it like I normally do. Forget this. I'm done with this. It's too exhausting. <sighs> that. Okay. Nobody cares that much, right? I mean, if you do, you need to check yourself. Or you wreck yourself. I'm about to wreck myself over. It's really nice. uh, okay, there. That'll do. Okay. Yes. Let's see if I can maybe bend it down more. No, bring it close. No, don't, don't bring it closer. No, don't bring it closer. Okay. Yes. So. Yes. What was the story time? About the genie lamp. That was at the bottom of this deck. So, oh yeah, how I led to this. So yes, I watched a video, and with that video, it led me back to this spread, and then this spread told me a whole nother story after listening to your video. And I listened to your story, and I was like, oof. And then I saw this, and I was like, yes, what I said was absolutely right, but this is the more in-depth version. I'll have to link it in the video. Once I get it done. So, let's see. Whew. So it's more like a timeline. That one person is on and the other person's on the other. Okay. So I realized that you're a mongoose meant that they were a mongoose. Okay. Because there was a mirror, in fact. Right? So, but you're on different timelines. But what keeps y'all centered is the tree. Which makes sense because of the roots, right? Oh, whoa, 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 this tree. Whoa. Whew, look at this tree. I just realized that. This tree it looks, it's like a reversal. It looks like a tree, whether it's upside down or right side up. I thought I had it upside down. I was like, what's up with that tree? Okay. A link, a deep link. Oh my gosh, an ancestral link. The roots. Something in the roots. There's a seven of hearts, but it's the options card. So something tells me that there's a lot of confusion. So anyways, we're not getting into that. We already know the whole story. We watched the video. This is so, so it's, yes. We're in different timelines. So it's like it's because you're mirroring each other, it's not happening identically. It's happening reversal. It's happening like this. It's happening in like in an upside down way. So picture... I don't know if anyone plays a World of Warcraft, but World of Warcraft is coming out with an expansion. I'm considering playing it, but I, mean, I haven't played World of Warcraft in forever. But, you know, people gotta keep busy. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Oh gosh, winter is coming again. No. So, anyways, basically, that just made me think of the Animus, you know, which is the Shadowlands in, in the World of Warcraft game that's coming out. So, basically, I'm out of breath. They, um, so you mirror, literally, you mirror each other, but like a weird, you know, like one of those weird reversal type tug and pulls. When one person's going through one thing, the other person's going through the opposite, and eventually they come together, okay? This is what I project, okay, eventually I see it coming together. Because we've been doing little readings here and there, and some of them hum with this tail, some of them don't. But when it does, it's like they end up together. But, anyways, my point is 
that whoever was it that, that resonated with that video. Oh my God, she's got red shoes on. I get it now. Okay. So this looks like a Disney card. Okay. Think about it. They got the Little Mermaid Palace. They got the homeboy riding a, homeboy riding a turtle. Okay. It, it looks like a floating on a red carpet or a carpet. Fishies got some Tomorrowland in the background. Can you see that? Can you see the, the Pisces card? It's like Disney, 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 Disney. Okay. But also creation. So this leads to the story. So the story is, I mean, the deeper message, excuse me, is, I feel like I forgot to check for timestamp. Oh, God, I'm terrible. Anyways, so something happens that causes a windfall from a creation. Okay. And then destiny happens. And it causes like a reversal. Okay. So this life now became this person's life. And this life became that person's life. But it's destiny. Y'all are destined to live both. Like this person's destined to live this life. And this person's destined to live that life. But and they ultimately end up in a circle. Oh, in a circle. In a hoop that never ends. Yes, I was thinking about the Pocahontas song the other day. I put it in my deck. I only got a couple Disney songs in there. Oh, I got Belle. That one's good. I always liked that one as a kid because I always felt like I was Belle because nobody fucking understood me. It really acted like I was a fucking weirdo. And it's like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> so, yeah. And then while right before filming this, the only reason I mentioned the Belle card was because I mean, Beauty and the Beast came on randomly on the radio. Not the song, but like, you know, the orchestra. And I was like, whoa. So anyways, oh, fuck, I got sidetracked again. Oh, fuck. Be patient. I mean, the messages are good. You just got to be patient. At least I came back with like a juicy tidbit. So it's like a TL, TLDR. Ooh, that's it. I'll do TLDR for this video. I like that. If you get TLDR, you'll get it. Okay. So. A windfall, like a crazy wind, something like a turn of events causes a crazy rush of imagination and money, okay? And you have to resonate this with the actual story from the other one where, so basically, I, I kind of see this as the masculine. This is the man side and this is the female side. So yes, and also because she's right there. So if if you're a woman, this is your story. And if you're a man, this one's your story. You're very imaginative. And this person is, I don't know, it's the princess, it's the lady. So the story goes, just like we said, so this is the masculinist. Something in his life caused a windfall, crazy, oh my gosh, experience of all sorts of like wishes come true, right? Dreams come true, more so. And then something like lightning strikes the tree of destiny, you know, and fucks it all up. And it goes, that's, yeah, I don't know. Destiny's, the whole destiny's got switched. <gasps> something about the lion's gate, probably. Mm -hmm. Think about what happened any time during August 8th, any year. But I believe it was last year that was everybody was talking about. They were acting like destinies were being flipped stories, destinies were being rewritten, things like this. So maybe go look into that for yourself if you're interested. But yes, so whew, something spun destiny around. And now that windfall is not good. And they have to go back like to where they started, you know, like this. You know, they became this. And when you're in this state after coming from, you know, that awesome state, Maybe you like Disney. I love Disney. So anyway, so um, then you're um, you're you're not very confident. I mean, yeah, you do your things. You're independent. You're not really looking for love. You're feeling down. And not and not, whether you know it or not, you got some like deep like eh, going on, right? Sorrow and heartbreak and just fuck. I hate life stuff, right? depression. There you go. Sorry, I don't use that word. So you're going through some depression, but something happens that makes you realize, okay? Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's what it was. The, this came in as like a quick, like, like a boom message that I had to like unpack like a box, you know? 
like telepathically given to me. You know, I was told that telepathy, telepathy is basically like you just can package whatever the fuck you're trying to say into like, you know, you compressed it and then you shoot the compression to someone or something, right? And then they they unpack it and they get the message. It's crazy. That's pretty cool. So maybe, ooh, maybe you guys do that. <gasps> ooh, that's hella cool. Okay, ooh. Okay, anyways, maybe that's what this is. So anyways. Yes, something happened in their home life that caused that. That caused that. So all things might have been going great, but something happened that said no. Like tower, there you go. Tower moment happened. Bam, right there, and it caused this. So that, if you go according to the story, you know, it's most likely slaying some demons and some dragons. Oops, upside down. These things, you know, you have to go fight the the snake. Oh, the queen of oh, the queen of wands. You had to go fight the queen of wands, the fire breathing dragon, the evil stepmother. See, they had to go take care of whoever their demon was. They had to go slay the demon. Had to go slay the demon. And that's where the story left off. There's they they ran off. This looks like they slayed it and they're ready. Or this is like where they're at, and this is the showdown will go down. Okay, but now. You flip it. You gotta. Yeah. Let's try to see that song. Let me work it. Put my name down. Flip it and reverse it. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, I have no idea what that means, but in, okay. anyway. So if we reverse it, oh, this is getting trippy. I'm trying to see if this thing works. The fish. Ooh, no. Anyways, let's just do it like trees in the middle, cause that don't change. This ain't changing. It's spun. So things got stirred up and confused. They got misconscued. Okay. You know? And that's always when confusion happens. Am I doing this right? Yeah. Thank goodness. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Now we're on to the woman's story. And it's playing out. This is upside down. And so is that. God so confusing because this tree has to be a mirror right <laughs> it just had to be a mirror didn't you so now what happens on the woman's story correlates with the last video and it's basically that demon got slayed they slayed their demon and it you know <laughs> it tells me it's a seven, so it's a union. And they slayed that demon. And then they dug deep, I guess, into their own imaginativeness, right? And made a creation. Okay? And this represents two women, not just her. Not just Cinderella or, you know, in the poor state. It remembers, resembles both women. And I will read that to you just because it's a little confusing what I mean. It represents both women. It's a transformation. Yeah, oh, more about the mirroring. I'll tell you all about the mirroring, but what, what I came to the conclusion of, because all this is mirroring. So, great imagination comes to them. It just fucking, it, it makes, they, they just grow. Their tree grows. The other person's tree died. You see what I'm saying? Their, their creative endeavor died. And now the feminine's demon was slain, and now she created a creative endeavor and it's thriving and growing it's not the, the other side where it's dying in the roots in the past it's going forward and it's thriving and it's abundant and it's growing so she's not this anymore she started like this right there bam I, and I let off with saying you're at the beginning of your journey that's what Bobby made it trigger the beginning of your journey and I had the the hero's journey card pop out randomly while I was moving my cards. So it, it triggered, there you go, the hero's journey. So I was saying that whoever I was talking to, you're at your beginning of your journey. This is what's going to happen. So anyways, so this is what had happened to her. Okay? She, and she slayed that demon. And now she's off oof, in her own loving dreams, thriving. Okay? Growing a tree. So maybe you know what I'm saying. Really know what she was up to. But anyways, so now it's like you're. I told you about this princess, the, the 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 lady card. It's called a lady card, okay. It's the ace of the ace of swords, you know. So that's like, oh, 
whatever, uh, Ace of Swords, you know, new information. There you go. This is some information to you. There you go. I'm not looking. Oh, gosh, it's still on the, the thing. Let me keep that out. Maybe I'll read it. It's called The Ring. We'll read it because this is about a union. I'm sure of it. A union between two people falling in love. Okay, so let me see if I can find the lady card. So, yeah, basically they got to, you know, it's like the older and the younger. So the masculine is probably younger and the the feminine is older. Whichever story you resonate first with, like if you were the one that started before your windfall, because that's the windfall card, okay? And it's almost like, like, she's almost like saying goodbye to her old life before the new one comes rushing in, you know? I mean, like she's just like, whew, in the wind, whew, free as a bird. Loving it. <laughs> Here it is, the lady card. So yeah, this is like youth. So she's grown her. She's she's in the ladies, you know, the lady stance. She's a queen. Ooh, look how pretty. Same number though, twenty nine. So something about the number twenty nine. Maybe someone is twenty nine in the scene. Ages really don't matter. So the lady card though, oh, no heart card. One is the okay. They're both the queen of swords. Okay. So, come at her. Ah, oh, she's got swords everywhere. My cards, my goodness. My goodness gracious. So, I tell you, I, um, I'm going to read that real fast. Because I read all these ahead of time, and I was like, oh, my God. And they all just started making sense. And I'm not going to sit here reading because it was meant to be quick. Oh, my gosh, 26 minutes is not quick. Although, I did kind of dick around in the beginning and talk about my bomb. So I can't wait to go use it. That's oh, God. All of this came to me after smoking it. <laughs> Jesus. That high. Mm, really nice. It lasted forever. I love it. But I'm just now ready to go smoke. So we got the Ace of Clubs. Ace of Wands. Okay, a new passion. Mm -hmm. Okay, rushing in. Now oh, that waterfalls business. Anyways, <laughs> the windfall. Anyways, 25. What do you want to tell us? Number 25. Oh, it's called the ring. Oh, I didn't even read it. The ring. Okay, the union. Yeah, the contract, obligation, legal document, duty, or engagement. For the ring, we turn. Oh, there it is. It's the Aladdin card. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't know Aladdin was the ring. Okay, for the ring, we turn to the tale of Aladdin and the magic lamp. Ooh, which reminds me that that bong I bought looked exactly like something that I bought, that my mother bought me. Oh, that's one of the that's the only reason I bought it. I'll tell y'all at the end for story time. Give a shit. So anyways, rather than a romantic icon, oh, this is the one I told you about. How it's like, the story of Aladdin is like pretty depressing when it's real, but it, it's real. I mean, it's the real version, so it's like, it's going to be depressing. But the ending is usually at least pacifying. So let's see. Rather than a romantic icon, in the Lenormand system, this card stands for duty, among other things. Here, the princess in Aladdin's tale has been forced to marry. Her obligation... What? Her obligation? What? Her obligation to her country. This marriage is a duty-based event rather than one of the heart. Fortunately for her, Aladdin was contracted with a man he thinks is his uncle, but in an evil, but is an evil magician. Ooh. Aladdin has been given the job of going into a magical cave. He finds the lamp. I said he went into a cave. Fluke. He finds a lamp, but refuses to give it the magic. Wait, <laughs> What did he do to this lamp? Okay. He finds the lamp, but refuses to give it to the magician who traps him. Aladdin is stuck there until he rubs the lamp. The genie appears, granting Aladdin three wishes. With those wishes, he is able to marry the princess, turning the marriage contract into a love match. <gasps> Someone made a wish and it changed everything. Oh my god, my life, this is so beautiful. Oh, someone have to name this Nikki Soap Tarot. Oh, this is like a soap opera. What's that song with Camille Cabello with her where she's watching that soap opera? That's what this is. Ay, ay, ay. Fucking fuck. That'll be the title, I guess. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
With those wishes, he is able to marry the princess, turning the marriage contract into a love match instead of a, a you know, cold, heartless one. Wow. When the ring turns up, remember your duty and obligations. This can be a warning to pay attention to contracts that you've signed or are about to sign. So pay attention to that. Don't sign if there are warning cards nearby like clouds or snakes. There's that fucking snake right there. Stay the fuck away from the snake. Don't go into any legal contracts with whoever it is you've been battling and feeling like you had to fucking slay. Anything you've had to slay, any demons in your life, don't make any contracts with them anymore. If you are smart, you can turn an unpleasant duty into something more meaningful, just like Aladdin did. Wow. That's cool. So now, see, that's what it was. You needed to know that. Which also, oh my God, oddly enough, that's what my lamp was. It was. It looks like a genie lamp, okay? If you're, you got to be 18 or older to view it because it's got some pot in it. It's got some stuff going on in it. So... Whatever. Sorry, not sorry. What can I say? Go complain to them, not me. I really don't give a crap. But um, it's just I don't know. Anyways, but I bought it because okay, yes, that's the end of the reading then. So your life has been flipped into theirs, but it's mirrored, and it seems to be all based off of a wish. And it's like it makes me think that the wish was even unnecessary. That this was the destiny line. This was this was it all along. There was no need to wish. Oh, gosh, I need to pull a card now. <laughs> one for the masculine and one for the feminine. I don't do masculine. That. Well, I guess I do. I can include both of y'all because I mean, you never know, you know who's little. Oh, there we go. One after the other. Well, you're hella ambitious. Oh, that's just a message. I want you to know that. Okay, Galantis in my head. Oh, God, I love that song. That song's hilarious. The guy dancing is hilarious. Oh, gosh, Nikki Minaj looking at us. Oh, God, that's a little rough. This must be the woman. Oh, my. He will. This lady. Oh, my. <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh, my. Interesting. I wouldn't come at her. Yeah, she's definitely the queen of swords. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cross that line. No, I wouldn't do it. You'll probably be afraid to cross the line with this person because of how... Pa okay, that's what I'm saying. So then once y'all finally fucking meet... There it is. She's going to be like, what's up? And you're going to be like, but no. But I used to be like, what's up? And, but I didn't look at you then. Uh, you know? Back then, you didn't want me. Now I'm hot. And then mom not want me. You know that? Now you grew up. Oh, So maybe there's going to be some... Mm -hmm, that's, that explains the energy here. So maybe there's going to... You know, they're going to have a lot of suitors, this lady. Oh, my gosh. She's going to have everybody under the sun chasing her. Apparently. I mean, look at her. She's holding her hand like, who, who wants some? Who wants to try it? Okay, if you can try, good luck. That's the queen of swords. So if that's the energy she's in. Oh, but then there's a victory. Okay. The cause is a windfall. Something looks like she just lets go and relaxes. Maybe she doesn't stay in the ace of swords anyway. So anyways, back to my story time. When I was little, my house burned down. That's another story time. That's happened how many times? <laughs> I make the joke because <laughs> it actually happened twice. I wanted to try to talk to you, but it's like I can't really get it up there. Anyways, whatever. Back down. You know, I had two houses burned down and one flooded. <laughs> Such biblical events in my life. Okay, a disaster. It's a Scorpio thing, I'm sure, but you know, it's the only thing that makes sense of why. Because it never made sense. So, anyways. This is story time. I don't know. I'll figure it out later on the timestamps. So, yes, it was the second time the house burned down. Oh, I didn't explain this song. In my head, it's like you met someone new, and I can't tell. I can't never tell if those two are dating in that in that in that video. They just love each other. It's like they're kind of like that. Um, they just enjoy each other. It's like that friend. From, wow, my my mouth whistled when I said friend. Ouch, almost. That hurt my ears. That, like, I don't know, just that friend soulmate stuff, that bubbliness. Ooh, kind of like what I had with my friend Melissa. Like, it's just, you know, you just have, like, a really close connection with them. Whatever. You can, whatever. But I can't tell. Okay, so the masculine can't tell if you if you just want to be friends. They don't know, but they're, they're friend-zoning themselves, it seems. And, and you're all, 
you're all like, what do you want? You ain't getting in that area. We can talk logically and be, you know, strictly business. But, you know, you're going to have to show me you're not X, Y, and Z like every single other motherfucker she's seen, right? And you're going to be like, oh, God, all I do is think about her. Oh, I should do channel messages maybe. Maybe that's what's telling you. Know, I'm still trying to find my groove, you know, taking criticism with my own ambitions and figuring it out, combining it with my life. And what was the bottom of the deck? Ooh. Yeah, cross that line. Okay, there's the cross card, yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so back to story time. So my house burnt down. And we were kind of in the middle of living on the street for a bit because of it. And uh, insurance money came in. You know, and mom went on vacation and came back. Okay. Oh, she came back with a bottle for me. Oh, that's so cool. It was a glass bottle. My little, my bong made me made me think of it the minute I saw it. It didn't look like it though. But okay, and I was just telling someone about this about a year ago. I haven't talked about this pretty little. I, I call it a lantern. I cannot remember if it was a perfume bottle or an actual lantern you light. I think it was. It was. That's what it was. It wasn't perfumes. It was lantern oil. That smelled delicious. Okay. I don't know where she got it. She went on a road trip to New Orleans with her new hot little boyfriend and left me with like my dad for a bit or whatever. And I was like, I ain't living with dad. I'm going to go live out on the beach by myself. So that's what I did. And I went to school. I was like, fuck that. I'm not going to Hialeah. This was when I was in Florida. And I ain't going to Hialeah. I, li I live in fucking Hollywood. Why the fuck am I going to Hollywood? Whatever. Point is, yes, I'm from Hollywood. Hollywood, Florida. Not California, so whole another type of movie scene going on over there, like the, whole, the dark side. Even though Hollywood's pretty dark, but it's like they got money. Hollywood, Hollywood, Florida don't got enough money. <laughs> Anyways, so to finish this off, yes, she went off on a vacation, and you know, put, uh, with her money, and came back with this beautiful lantern. Oh God, it was so beautiful. It was like bubbly and tall, and I can't show you. I'm not moving the camera, but it was so great. Yeah, so just look at the bong over there. It'll give you some type of. But it had a a rope in it with something, and it had a little twistiness, and it was just perfect. I just loved it. And when she came back, she gave it to me. I was hella mad that she was gone because she was gone longer than she was supposed to, and I was like, you know. The actual fuck, you know, not literally, but I'm like, this, can this lady get here? She comes home and she brings me that. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And I was like, it's like a genie lamp. I probably took me back to Aladdin. I was 12 or 13 at the time. Anyways, what did I say? 12, yes, it was, oh, yeah, I just turned 12. My house burned down a month after I turned 12. <laughs> Or was it the same month, just towards the end? I don't remember, but it was pretty fucking stupid. Anyways, so, when I was on the street till 13, damn, a whole year, what the hell, mom? Damn. Anyways, we floated around, we did what we had to do. That's that breath fly like paper, paper planes. Anyways, so, yeah, afterwards... Oh, yeah, so I get this ghost lantern. Let me go back to where I was initially talking. I get the lantern. I pour a bath, and I'm at a motel in the beach because that's where I chose to live. I wanted to live in a motel at the beach. And mom was there because she had just came back. But she went home. She went across the street to Giorgio's. Hey. So over in Hollywood Beach, there's this little restaurant called Giorgio's. I got talking about crab legs, all that stuff. I don't like seafood very much. I, I eat it, you know. I put it in the same department as a blueberry. It's like, I'm not really necessarily interested, but I can respect that you taste well, like your texture and your, your integrity is a bit cute. <laughs> Who knows? So uh, I'll only eat it if I have to, which is never because who really has to eat crabs? I mean, unless I get stuck on the beach at an abandoned beach, then yeah, I'm going to eat a crab. Fuck it. So you just got to fucking survive. Anyways, point is, I took a bath, and I left my lantern there on the bath, forgot it, lit, fell asleep on the couch, whatever. Mom came home drunk. Not like that she's a drunk, because she's not a drunk. Never. I give her, 
give her credit when credit's due. She was not a drunk mother. She was not a stepping out mother. She stepped out for a little bit, but I guess she just needed a break. I don't know. I mean, I was fine. I could take care of myself. I guess she knew I could take care of myself. And I was like, go for it. I don't really care. So what is it? Um, just make sure, make sure I can eat and sleep. Like, oh, God, don't, don't make me have to do it all. Not yet. So anyways, <laughs> so she, she ends up knocking it over. At like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Oh, it makes me sad. But I got it back today. That's the whole point. Okay? Whatever was lost is never forgotten and never gone forever. It always comes back to you. And it comes back to you better. So what I'm getting at is that she broke that shit. And I woke up to her like, oh, no. Oh, no, Nicole. And she felt genuinely bad. And she's kind of like laughing at first a little, but then she realized what she broke. I Maybe it was expensive. Who knows where she got it? Maybe she got it from a magician. <laughs> like, who knows what she had to do? Like Aladdin in the cave. I wish she could tell me. Huh? Anyways, the perfume smelled amazing. I kept what I could because, you know, I came with like some perfume to keep, not perfume, but scented oil to fill in it. I wonder what the scent was. Maybe it was gardenias. <sighs> Because she knows I love gardenias. Anyway, so um, I can't remember that detail. But yeah, and I just remember looking across the little cheap motel, like, you know, from the couch and seeing the light, like, uh, like blinding, like, what's going on, mom? What happened? You stub your toe or some shit. And she's like, no, Nicole, I'm so sorry. I'm like, what is it? What are you sorry about? What happened? Oh, my God, what's going on? I broke the thing. And I was like, oh, no. I didn't want to make her feel bad because she felt hella bad. And I was like, oh, shit, I don't want to make her feel bad. So I was like, that's okay, mom. It's all right. I was like, that sucks, because I'm honest. I was like, it sucks. I'm like, that sucks. But we'll find a new one some way, some shape, somehow. We'll find a new one, right? It's not a big deal. And she's like, okay, I promise I'll get you another one one day. And I was like, you know, no, I don't hold people to their promises, because I know that nobody ever fucking keeps them, <laughs> which is one of the main reasons why I always try to keep mine, and I'm very cautious of promises and if I ever make a promise and I end up not fulfilling it, I have to be told because it's like I didn't, I just somehow must have forgotten. I usually never forget. So I always fulfill a fucking promise. So I don't make very many promises. You know, they're even if small, I don't do it. But anyway, so she promised me it didn't happen. But today it did. <laughs> On a day when I needed it most because like uh, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, maybe even two months ago, who knows how, I think it was two months ago. A really long time ago, I ordered a, a vaporizer. Oh, sorry, God. I ordered a vaporizer from G Pen. And it was. And I, I, I didn't order the damn adapter that came with it, but even if I did, it was the wrong shape. I needed double female. Okay. I needed, I needed a gay one. I don't know. <sighs> Either way, I needed double female. And it didn't, it didn't have it. I went to the bong shop today to get it, and they didn't have it. And I knew they weren't going to fucking have it. But the minute I walked into the bong shop, there were so many fucking people. Well, there was, like, three, and they were all over the place and annoying. And you know how, like, when you go to, um, you go somewhere and you can tell they're a tourist? Okay, I made the comparison to my husband. I was on the phone with my husband at the time, because that's what I do. And, uh... Yeah, I made the joke to him. It's like these people over here said so they're so loud and they want to talk about everything under the fucking sun. They're making this take forever. Everywhere I go, there's a line. And this line was only two two customers, two groups. I think it was two groups, but all in all, two sales. And it should suck for fucking hours. And what did they buy? <laughs> Fun cleaner. Just like I said, I told him, I said, they're like tourists. I said, you can always tell when a tourist is in some place. I was like, I'm sitting here in my sweats. Like bothered hoping that y'all finish up quick because I know exactly what the fuck I want so I want to grab it and get the fuck out of here without it being like a, a a rush you know take make sure I'm you know make sure I'm getting everything I want but I ain't dicking around no dicking around I do not dick around so I'm very strategic I guess I don't know I think about it a lot so I grabbed a gang of shit that I saw that I'd been wanting and wanted and on a whim wanted whatever as long as the price was right and the value was right. Anyway, so I walk into the bug shop. He's busy dealing with some people. It's all right. Let me do your thing. I'm going to go back here and make sure I got everything all figured out because it's hella confusing about this fucking double-sided feminine thing. They don't got it. I'm looking. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. 
but my eyes are instantly locked onto this purpley bong. And I'm like, ooh, that's such a pretty little bong. But goes back to the adapters. No adapters. I'm like, well, I guess I got to buy a whole new rig then because I got to use this fucking thing. I didn't pay uh, 150 whatever the fuck it was. I didn't pay all that money and just let it sit there. So I got to buy a rig. And the old rig's like a year old, so I'm like, whatever. I don't feel like, whatever. It needs a replacement, I guess. Not really, but it's going to be put in the closet. But so anyways, uh, once I finish realizing there's no adapter, I'm like, what? excuse me. I'm like, well, let's look at the bongs. And I go straight to looking at the, the heads. Let me make sure the piece fits, because that's all that fucking matters. I brought the piece, and I'm like, this is going to fucking happen for me. And I know, hope is lost, because all of them look like they don't. They all look like females. And I'm like, why are they all? females I wait why are they all males I need a female okay and I'm looking 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 and then I'm like whatever and then I see it and I'm like okay that one that I initially thought was so cute just because it was purple and round and it just looked different and I was like I'm gonna take that one I was like I study it a bit more and I realized oh my god it's got the same head as me and I was got the head that I need. It's the same diameter. I'm like, that is the one. I need to look at it. And I was like, let me narrow out all my other options. Oh, and this might pertain to your life. Because like, y'all got options. Ooh, that's going to be probably a next reading. It's one of those options reading. I'm going to maybe try to do like six flash readings. Ten minutes each. Maybe put a timer. And ten, you know what I mean? Because it ain't in depth. It's just like, this is what you see. is what you get. And pick whichever ones you want. However many options you got, you can pick however many you like. I think it'll be fun. So anyways, um, I'll give you some insight that I'm going to literally clock myself in at 10 minutes, speed, like speed dating. Ha ha ha, speed date you. Let's do some speed dating in the next episode. So point is, that'll probably be later. Anyway, so, 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 so I eventually, the, the guy's finally available after dealing with the tourists. The Bible, I mean, they want to talk to him about everything. And it's like, you going to buy it or you just going to talk about it? What you gonna do? You gonna put your money where your mouth is? Like, what the fuck's going on here? You're taking up my time now. Please have some consideration for people that are waiting behind you. You know. And they eventually finish up. I'm I'm thinking that they that they stop even talking and they're still browsing because I don't even know what it, I don't see nothing in their hands. And then I so I I you know holler at dude and I'm like, hey, are you busy still? Like, can you come over here and maybe take care of me? Yet? I'm gonna need a minute though, so I'm not trying to jump anyone in line. He says to me, I'm still doing that. I see him. I see he's got some shit in his hand and this bong cleaner. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I bet. You know, he's going to go clean the bong. That's about it. When you just go buy rubbing alcohol, dumbass. Whatever. Get with it. No one needs their bong to smell like oranges. It's not necessary. Do it yourself. Baking soda. Baking soda and vinegar. Let it sit. Put a little bit of water. Let it sit. It decalcifies everything. And then uh, go ahead and rush through with some alcohol to clear any, clear any resins and shit. And for burnt on shit, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. You just grab that shit. But yes, that is the end all. Wait, that's not the end of the story. So then he finally comes over, passes the thing over to me. And I'm like, ooh, that thing is, looks like a Lamborghini bottle. And I was like, I'm going to get it. I'm in a rush. And I'm like a squirrel when I'm out there. I'm like <laughs> fidgety. Trying to just grab everything I need to get the fuck out of there. So I grab it. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. Grab this too. Grab that. And just, you know, grab everything and get the hell out of here before anyone else comes in. It's like I'm done. Like I've already reached my my exposure time limit, and I want to go home. So when I come home, I un- unwrap it and I take a really good look at it, and I see the tag it says Soul. Let me just. I wanted to remember it in case I lose this. I've recorded it in my video because I want to always remember it for some reason. So it's called Soul Glass. And I was like, la, 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 Soul Glass. How funny. And then I see all this cute little symbols and symbologies and things. And then it made me think of my watch because my watch does that. I got it on kaleidoscope effect. And it's just a little flower. Hold on. Give it a second. Let the time pass. Oh, wait. Yeah. It's just a flower. So each time I look at it, it's a whole nother fucking image. Like my tarot. Every time I look at my tarot, it's a whole nother thing that screams to me. Yes, there's an undertone and an energy to that fucking card. But details, the details tell the story. So anyways, I got this. And then I loved it. It says happy smoking with an exclamation mark. I loved that. I was like, oh my God, that is so Nikki. I love this. So soul glass. Says, enjoy the soul recycler experience. So, mm, let me hang that on my little tree. 
like a Christmas tree. It made me think of a Christmas decoration. So I'll show you my chakra tree. I put it on my chakra tree for now until whatever happens to it. It'll be there. Whatever. Off on the side. Chilling. So it's like, I was, and it, I was like, oh my God, that's why that thing made me think of that little oil lamp that my mom bought me when I was a kid. I was like, it looks like a fucking genie lamp. And I love that thing. And then it made me say, oh, this must be it coming back to me again. So now instead of smelly, delicious oils, which I have infusers for, like this, this infusers that with juniper, so I did a little mixture. It looks ugly, but it's juniper berries, fresh juniper berries from my parking lot. Because for some reason, my parking lot has juniper berries growing on it. So I pick them when I see them. Anyways. So fresh juniper berries with those little, like rose water or things like that stuff. It smells good. Maybe even like tea. Anyways, so that's what I'm saying. So I got that and I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. You know, and I was like, it came back to me. Oh yeah, so instead of uh, nice smelly oils that it's going to burn, <laughs> it's going to burn a different type of nice smelly oil. <laughs> And it's going to be amazing. And it and it recycles. It's the way it burns is amazing. That's why I made the video because I really wanted to see how it was going to smoke up. Once I realized this was looking like a genie lamp, I was like, I need to see how this swirls. I've then swirled with it a bit. And I, I recorded a few times. But the, the one, uh, the first one I did was the one I posted. Well, no, I think that was the second one. The first one I fucked up. It didn't even work. I fucked up the whole thing. So then I was like, fuck, I had to restart. So the second time I went was the one I posted, and then I, was ever, I think I went there once a few times since then, so now it's like a, oof, it's such a pretty swirl, it's pretty, and I love it, so, okay, so that's, that right there, that whole little bong shop experience somehow led me to, what did it lead me to listen to, it led me to, yes, it led me to thinking about something, no, it didn't, something that happened just during this video, I don't remember, I don't remember why I decided to talk about that. Like I said, I go with the flow. All right, it took an hour, though. <laughs> so have a good night. Well, what's say? It's the evening? I don't know what time it is. I checked the watch. It's like almost 5 o'clock, so have a nice dinner. Bye.